Iran has successfully carried out a sub-orbital test using the Qasid satellite carrier, aimed at evaluating cutting-edge technologies developed by the country's space agency. It will help in enhancing the capabilities of Iranian satellites, launch systems, and broader space infrastructure, according to experts. This achievement marks another step forward in Iran's pursuit of technological excellence, reinforcing its self-reliance and growing power. The latest test of Qasid carrier rocket is not only a routine demonstration of scientific and technological strength, but also a political message to the international community. Iran's missile program remains intact, and its space program continues to make steady progress. The Qasid, also spelled Qasid, meaning messenger in Persian, is a three-stage satellite launch vehicle, SLV, developed by the Islamic Revolution Guards Corps, IRGC, Aerospace Force. It is designed to place small satellites, primarily for reconnaissance and imaging, into low Earth orbit, LEO, generally defined as an altitude between 160 and 2,000 kilometers. The key represents a significant element of Iran's military-led space program, distinct from the civilian Iranian space agency ISA. Unlike earlier launch vehicles that lift off from the Imam Khomeini Space Center, Qasid is launched from the Shahrud rocket base, also located in central Semnan province. The rocket's first stage is liquid-fueled, likely derived from the Ghadr medium-range ballistic missile, MRBM. Using a proven liquid-fuel engine reduces developmental risks. Its second and third stages are solid-fueled, employing the Salman upper stage in advanced IRGC development. Solid-fuel technology enhances reliability and allows for quicker launch readiness compared to liquid-fueled systems. Qasid can carry small satellites, typically weighing 50 to 60 kilograms, into LEO. For instance, it successfully placed the Noor-1 satellite, a 6U CubeSat, into a 426 by 444 kilometers orbit with a 59.8 degree inclination. Qasid has reached altitudes of up to 450 kilometers, well beyond the Safir SLV's 250 kilometers capacity, thanks to its advanced upper stage propulsion. It is launched from a transporter erector launcher, telephone, indicating its mobility and flexibility, unlike the fixed launch pads used for ISIS, Safir and Seamorg rockets. The IRGC's newer KM-100 SLV, used in the September 2024 Shamran-1 launch, 60 kg to 550 km, shares technological lineage with the Qasid, though it is designed for higher altitudes and distinct payloads. Since the 1979 Islamic Revolution, Iran has made remarkable progress in the space industry, launching a series of satellites into space, despite sanctions and threats. Qasid has a solid record, with three successful orbital launches, 2020, 2022, and 2023, and the most recent suborbital test conducted on Monday. Its use of a reliable liquid fuel first stage and innovative solid fuel upper stages has helped it avoid many of the pitfalls experienced by earlier SLVs like Safir and Simorg. The latest test was conducted on July 21st to evaluate new technologies for its space program. While no satellite was launched into orbit, the test aimed to enhance spacecraft performance and advance system validation. Suborbital flights reach outer space but do not complete a full orbit around Earth. Instead, they follow a parabolic trajectory, ascending into space and then descending back to Earth. Although no official details have been released about the altitude achieved or specific test objectives, the trial likely involved validating multi-stage separation, inertial guidance systems, and upgrades to solid fuel technology.